2023, it's payback time for Tinubu's presidency. Hello, my wonderful people. Hmm. Ashiwajibola Tinubu is one of the people that sold the country to the current predicament that she's in at the moment. Ashiwajibola Tinubu was one of the people who went lobbying all southwest, all the southern governors, senators, anyone who has ever been in position or have the opportunity to be able to change, you know, circumstances with regards to their opportunity of being in the corridor of power. He went as far as to the United States of America to bring the same consultant that worked with Barack Obama, being the first black president of the United States of America. So he needed acceptance and so they needed to work on what we call consultation to be able to understand the human mind and work alongside. This was what he did to bring this guy and these people came in, this consultant, studied the Nigeria terrain and worked with uh, 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 Buhari, who our parents, grandparents have said we never see presidency. After they have done their thorough work, Nigerians were persuaded. Some of the things they did, I will, they did, I will mention a few, was manipulating the mind. What you see governs what your heart begins to say, what you eventually becomes your statement. Allowing, you know, making Buhari dress in different attires of the country made him seem acceptable. Giving the words to Asha Buhari and the children all staying around Buhari made him seem like a family person who was reasonable and compassionate. My dear, it's called a scam. Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu is being paid in his own coin. Director General of the Tinubu Support Organization, Mr. Amir Saluma, has said that the entire North and his people were behind the presidential aspiration of the presidential candidates of the Progressive Congress APC National Chairman Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu. Tinubu. Salome said that all the governors and the political leaders of the North have resolved to work hard to ensure that Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu take over from President Muhammad Buhari come 2023. The DJ was speaking at the commissioning of an ultra-modern educational ICT youth training center constructed and donated to the people of Ita Ekato in Ekotu in Lagos State by the chairman aspirant of the forthcoming local government election in Edo State. Salami said, the North owe Tinubu a debt of gratitude because Buhari tried three times to become president but was unsuccessful. Until he, Tinubu, came into the picture, now it is a fair time to reward Tinubu for all that he has done to contribute to his becoming a president of Nigeria. Of course, my people, like I told you, I don't know where Tinubu got the money from. I don't know the job he did before he was able to bring that kind of money. But largely, I'm not saying he's and I'm not saying he sponsored. Largely, the presidency, the whole sponsoring, largely was done by Shiwaji Bola Tinubu. He spent no small money. Of course, we all know that is Nigerian money being collected here and there. Let's continue. On the ICT center, Salome called on rich young Nigerians to and emanate the, found the foundation member, the chairman aspirant of the local government area of such a project to bring around development to their people, especially in their area and region. He said, if all Nigerian youth can occupy such and possess such generosity, then the nation will be a great place and even greater future for our promised land. The northern governors and the youths must never forget that they owe Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu, so we must all support him. Of course, this is being done in Lagos State, and you know that uh, Tinubu has a stronghold in Lagos, whether you like it or not. As at today, today, Tinubu has a stronghold in Lagos. You may not agree, but it's the truth. You may not agree, like I said, you may not agree, but it's the truth. Largely, you know, he decides to become the governor. Look at the governor that... Um, was there before and after the first tenor, you know, he didn't play ball. So, I mean, it is what it is. They told him he did not pass the primaries. I mean, wh what kind of country are we in? Anyway, Ashiwaji Bola Tinubu contributed in no small way to the saga that you are currently seeing unfolding in the country. That's why he will never speak on anything that contradicts Buhari. Because uh, Amutseko coming up, they thought that they could use the Fulani to overflow the south and take over. There is a conquest of a, a, you know, a, a conquering a, a regime trying to go on. But guess what? They were surprised that the southwest governors were up to the tax, prepared themselves and said Amutseko must stay. What about the 
um, Eastern Security Network, it's a sad phenomenon to say that the governors of the Southeast have not really supported their own like they should. I'm not saying you should support wrongdoing, but what it stands for is to ensure security, which is the bedrock of what every one Nigerian now is seriously concerned about. For starters, if you are to embark on a journey, whether to the east, to the south, to the north, my dear, you need to pray. Oh yes, you need to pray. You need to take it seriously. It's not like business like usual before. You just pack your things. Mommy, when are you traveling? It's tomorrow. Okay, okay, see you tomorrow, okay. And you call, are you there now? You'll say one, one hour more. Today, you are going every hour of the road you are praying. Lord, let me get there safely. That's how bad things have become. Am I saying that it is not good to pray even when the going is good? No. What I'm saying is it has become a state of emergency, emphasis, and Nigeria is currently bleeding. Let's call it spade a spade. And this government, with all that is going on in the Southwest, you will not hear Ashiwaju Bolatinebo even speak of his own, talk to his people. Look at what happened with uh, Sunday Boho. He was not even going to say a word. Thank God for all that Yoruba leaders who spoke and cautioned Buhari saying, listen, we learned you have given the IGP of police an order to arrest Sunday Boho, to kill him and to shoot all his uh, followers. If you try that, because in security, you are aiding this Fulani headsman and the heads will rule. That was what made that thing die a natural death, in case you don't know. So, Ashiwaji Bolai Putinubudu will never speak a word. What will his supporters say? He deserves a good, they say one good turn, deserves another. You know, he has done what he should do. As you know, Ashiwaji Bolai Putinubudu has once been a senator in Nigeria. Yes, he has been a senator before. I don't know the contribution he did to Nigeria, but I mean, he has been a senator. He has been a governor, not just one, two tenors. You know, it's one of those people who also made a, you know, an inter a national broadcast telling the nation not to support a, a Godwin Obaseke of Edo State, saying that Godwin, Godwin Obaseke did not contribute. So his people have that mindset that he's a nation builder, he has done A, B, C, D, Z, and so he deserves to be there. So there's a lot going on in our country, but people will be quiet and allow Nigerians to be on the altar of sacrifice just for their own selfish way, need or purposes. But guess what? If we don't speak and condemn wrongdoing, we are aiding it with our silence. Silence, they say, is consenso. Guys, leave us a comment. Let's know your thoughts. Ashiwaji Bolatinubu, wanting to be the president of the country, don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.